Hi guys, I hope you're all having a wonderful day and today I'm going to be doing a tier list for the Rainbow Six Siege map. Now before we get into this, I just want to say this is a personal opinion, so please I know you're already typing. Oh my god, why is house E? Oh my god, I'm going to just, just, it's a, just, just, it's a personal opinion without further ado. How this is going to work, I'm just going to drag out, it's not going to go in order like from Alt F4 to God. Alt F4 being the worst and God obviously being the best. If there's any other tier list you want me to make and then feel free to let me know and then I'll do it as well. Oh, so starting with Outback. Outback I'm going to have to put at D. Now Outback is actually a good map. The thing I don't like about it though is just kind of like the theme. I think the layout's really good. Bottom floor is like a bottom floor is never played I swear like the whole I saw every ranked match I have in Outback is always just top floor constantly. I've never had like any competitive moment that's been on the bottom floor. Fortress, I'm mmm mmm I'm mmm Fortress I'm gonna also put it D. I will make some adjust adjustments at the end if I need to, but Fortress I'm just gonna have to put at D. Just because it's like square building, like there's not really any like anything new to it it's just like i feel like the layout was just very squarish if that makes any sense like there's not really like just the same old same old i don't think there's like anything new to it villa s tier i love villa i don't know what it is about villa i love the scenery i love the like theme the layout is awesome just everything about it the operation itself was probably the best in the game maestro and alibi that operation power bellum oh, that was so good the map was amazing one of the best operators in the game maestro the map layout everything i love it so much tower tower is alt f4 just just get out of the game why did you ubisoft why did you even think of making this map? Uh, coastline, I'm gonna put it A. I feel it doesn't really reach the god tier just because I feel like Coastline is a very. I don't know what it is about it, but I feel like Coastline's attacker friendly. Now, which is weird because most maps are defender friendly, but I don't know what it is about Coastline, but it's just really attacker friendly. But I like the layout, I like how you can get on the roof and kind of watch around. Pretty much the whole of upstairs, which is probably why it's so attacker friendly. But yeah, Coastline A. What do we have next? Bartlett. Bartlett is just A. Just no, just not good. I swear it hasn't even like been a playable map for like two years now. I remember actually playing it when I first got the game back in Operation Health. It was in casual, but it just has not been in the game since. I do think it could have a really good rework, like I feel like if they reworked it, it could actually be a good map. It's just the layout was very just open and not much to it. Skyscraper, I'm... Skyscraper, I'm gonna... Oh, I don't know where to... Ooh. The thing with Skyscraper is the layout is horrible. There's so many, like... I mean, not horrible, it's good, but... It's just the fact that you can do so many runouts, it's just aids. Just constant runouts everywhere. Skyscraper, there's lots of windows, it's just skyscraper. Mm, where to put this? I want to put it at D, but there's already so many in D. I'm going to put it at C, and I'll make some adjustments later. Favela, I'm gonna put it A just because God, there's so many runouts on that map. It's so open. I feel like every single wall in Favela is a soft wall. Get spawn peak constantly. There's a spawn peak that if you just climb up the ladder of spawn, you just get headshot straight away. It's just actual AIDS. Border. Hmm. Border is A for me. I love Border so much. I love the layout. I love everything about it. I like even when it's downstairs. Like what map was it? I said Outback. Outback where 
like downstairs doesn't really get played much but on border downstairs is like even once you finish uh, playing top floor bottom floor is still really fun to play I like how bottom floor is mainly controlled by playing top floor if that makes any sense but I'm sure high high level players you'd understand that border is probably the most um, like the map where you need to take control of top floor the most but yeah I really love border Ooh, yeah. Ooh, I don't know about. I'm, I'm gonna have to put this at A as well. I'm sorry, but I just feel like all the old casual maps are just all so bad. Like it's been so long. They haven't been edited in like years. Haven't been touched. I just no too many runouts. Too many spawn pigs. Like it's a casual map. It hasn't been touched in years. Cafe, I'm gonna have to. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna put Cafe at C. However, I do think. I'll, I'll just put it at C. I think the rework is really good. The rework is so much better than the original. I think this is um actually really good map for how it's designed. Like I said, I don't really like the map, so it's just like a square building. But I think this map is actually really good and it's a map that like you can put lots of creativity into with the rotations and everything. I just really like it. Shallow for me, I'm going to have to put it B. Just because I think the thing with Chalet that I love is having to take control of like garage and just attacking the bottom floor is always like really exciting for me. I don't know why. Even like attacking kitchen. However, it can get really aged sometime, like uh, trying to attack trophy is so hard. But Chalet, I really like. Remember, this is personal opinion, let me know where you would play stuff. Canal, I'm also going to have to put a B now, I'm not just saying that because it's a new map. But I actually really like the Canal rework. I like how there's now uh, two ways you can get to the either side of the buildings. I also love just the theme, just the inside of it, it all looks amazing. They, Ubisoft did a really good job on that map. Bank, I'm, hmm. I'm gonna have to put Bank at A, I think Bank is really good. Attacking uh, bottom floor lockers is really fun. Always have to bring a Habana for the hatches, playing the hatches, watching out for the roams, and roaming yourself is good. Only problems I have with bank is the runouts off the bat, like spawn peaks. But other than that, the map is really good. I like how you can like kind of repel, look through the windows, get really cool angles. I think bank has to be one of those maps that have like the best insane, like really long angles. Consular, I'm gonna have to put it B. Consular is really good. It kind of reminds me of bank. I don't know why. But console is really good. The only thing I don't like about console is the constant spawn peaks. Like it's just a massive building with lots of windows. It's annoying as hell with spawn peaks. But once you're actually inside the building, I think the layout is really good. Plane, gonna have to put it. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to put it at A. I'm not looking at this tier list as a sort of nostalgic. This is more of a competitive view on it. And plane isn't really competitive. I think it's it's a really good casual map just to have fun on, but in the eyes of like a competitive player, plane isn't that good. Clubhouse, I'm ooh. I'm gonna have to put Clubhouse at B. I wanna say A but B. The only thing I don't like about Clubhouse is the fact that only two bomb sites I really ever played CCTV and then the downstairs. Like it would be nice if like the middle floor maybe got some changes so the middle floor felt a bit more competitive. But the whole of Clubhouse is just like trying to go for the hatches and attacking CCTV and trying to open like the two walls. But yeah, I'm not saying Clubhouse is bad, like it's in beta so it means it's good. I'm just pointing out uh, the reasons it doesn't reach that A to. But Clubhouse is really good. Hereford base. No, just Alt F4. Delete it from the game. Why did they have to get rid of the first one? 
you know how much better the first one was in terms of how fun it was to play this all grey no colour to it it's raining the layout's not good at all top floor is impossible to attack just just no Oregon I'm gonna have to put a B tier I love Oregon I love the layout the only thing I don't like about Oregon that doesn't make it A tier is the fact that like there's not really any new strategies like I feel like it's just always the same every game like just I'll go for hatch get in the mirror blah 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 I think adding pick and ban has spiced it up like not having a mirror like spices up the game and you have to change your strategies but Oregon is usually the same strat every single time and house I'm gonna put house at D like, I think it would go E in the eyes of competitive but house is just that map that like you just always have fun on even if it's like competitive or fun house is just always just amazing like even if there's like creators cups tournament like when you're watching it and they play house like even in the competitive eyes it seems like really fun even though it is aids in terms of spawn peaks and like the competitive but it's just come on it's house but yeah looking at this now there's not really any adjustments no i think this is my tier list my personal opinion let me know which maps deserve to be god tier, which maps need to be deleted OF4. If there's any other tier list you want me to make, and then feel free to let me know and I will put my opinion on that and make it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's quick video. I say quick, I don't know how long this video is. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of this tier list. I might make a tier list on the operations. So which operations are the best and I might make tier lists on the operators again just because you know patch notes people have been buffed and nerfed and so on but yeah if you enjoyed today's video and then make sure to subscribe and i hope you all have a wonderful day and goodbye